for Vlogging Day 1092, look at me! Just look at me! Oh boy, it's a really bright and early Saturday. Today, there's a couple things that are happening this weekend. I wanted to talk about it yesterday. I'm not even sure if my computer is gonna work today, so this might all be for naught. And if that's the case, this will be all you get. But I'm gonna take my camera with me, I'm gonna film, and then I'm gonna come home and I'm gonna try to edit before the Pompier Ball. The Pompier Ball tonight is basically an annual event where a whole bunch of firefighters or firehouses open up to become nightclubs. And they're, they, they kind of are along a spectrum of different styles. As far as I've been told, some of them are a little bit more family friendly, some of them are much more like nightclubs. I'm gonna be going to one that I've never been to before in Saint-Germain-des-Prés, but I've heard that it's really good. That's my plan, we'll see how it goes. I won't be able to take this camera in there with me anyways, so I'll just take a couple shots on my phone, some general shots, but between French privacy laws and carrying uh, this camera into a, a potentially super packed nightclub with lots of people drinking doesn't sound like a good idea, so I'm gonna, I'll give you a good feel for it if I can. What I gotta do this morning, is I need to take a bunch of stickers down to the Peloton for Kate. We're gonna take those down uh, for her as well as some money for postage and leave them for her. Might as well have coffee and a waffle while I'm down there. Take a little bit of a stroll. I'll talk to you a little bit about that. And then I also have a friend who's got a concert this evening that I'm also planning on going to, which is why it's turning into a very busy day. And I'm doubly sore today because the second day is always the sorest and uh, my, my wheel crash injuries, mostly just my arm. Like my arm feels a little bit cranky uh, right now. My tricep kind of wants to cramp up a little bit, I think. It's not the best. But that's, you know, that's life. What can I say? So, if this is where the video ends, then I couldn't get my computer to work this afternoon. If it's not where the video ends, then you know that it, 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 does, it doesn't end here. You'll be able to tell by the timestamp. Either way, I gotta go get coffee. <laughs> Now you might have noticed that I'm not taking my backpack with me, assuming that we made it this far into the video. That's because I'm getting a new one. Not a new backpack, but a new, like, basically super fanny pack. They call it a sling. And the idea of the sling is to have a bag that's basically small enough not to be super annoying to carry around, but big enough to carry my camera and another lens. Because I love my backpack. My backpack is awesome. It's great. It's just when I don't need to take my laptop or extra stuff around with me, it's a lot to carry around all day. But getting like a little sling that would just be big enough to carry the camera and everything else means that my hands can be free. I don't have to carry it all the time and I'm not carrying all the extra weight. This is of course assuming it actually made it today as advertised. We'll see, we'll see how the shipping worked out. <laughs> This is of course made possible by Martin, a patron of mine who I've met not too long ago on my thousandth vlog actually. He helped me get a really solid discount on this and sent it to me. And uh, thanks Martin, really appreciate it. Even if it's not there today, still appreciate it. You're a good guy. He's, uh, he also hooked me up with a little tripod here. One is a, a painting from Carol Strum, which I'm not gonna, I don't wanna show her address on accident. And also, it's a painting, so I'll wait to open that. I don't wanna open that here, because I, I wanna make sure it stays protected. This, however, is best open now. Yeah. Like, here, like, smoke. He was a little over the, he was like really, he was over the top of the yell, yell. Yeah. How, how does this work? Like, uh, you're like, how did it happen just to be in Jay's awesome movie? I love this. Christian right? Yeah. Whoa. Hey, Steve. I'm going to keep my hat here, okay? Perfect. Right. Let's kill her. This thing's awesome. It is huge. 
first let's open the painting, see what's going on here. I'm also, I'm gonna have to figure out this, uh, I forgot to take the stuff down that I needed to leave for Kate. It's sitting right here. I left it, I just didn't take it. So I'm gonna go back out and, and give that to her. And I might as well have lunch while I'm out there. Just trying to do a very unintendedly busy and commuty Saturday. Oh, hey there. Ooh. Hey. Fancy, this is actually, this is from one of my, this is from one of my videos. I'm pretty sure that's Christian right there. That's why, is that why you marked Christian on the envelope saying that it was, that he was the proprietor? Anyways, Eiffel Tower, bike, pretty sure that this is taken from that. Hold on, let's see. I'm a fan of the video blog and found you when I was planning a trip to Paris. The episode, Is It Safe to Bike in Paris, is beautiful, almost poetic. Thank you for your work in sharing Paris and your life abroad with the world. All my best, Carol Strum. Thank you, Carol. This is really, really nice. I feel like this should get put up in the Peloton, actually. I'm gonna to talk to them about that because I think they just opened a space. They, they sell a bunch of prints, basically. If you wanna buy one of the prints from them off the wall, you can. This one won't be for sale, but I'm gonna ask them if we can put that up. Thank you so very much. That's really nice of you. Martin, as well, obviously, thank you for helping me get a solid discount on this, like a very significant discount on this. I really appreciate it. It is massive. Like, I'm able to fit my camera. My camera fits in just this one, like, tiny portion of it. So now I'm tempted to get the even smaller one because I love going as minimal as possible. But it'll be nice. This like for putting my headphones in and carrying uh, like two lenses, my headphones, as well as a couple other trinkets. This is actually probably the perfect size. And there's some other little doodads and gizmos that go with it. The way I'm going to handle this today, since I'm having issues with the computer and because i got to run a bunch of errands, supposedly go see my friend's concert and then also go to the Bal des Pompiers, I'm going to try and edit, at least start editing right now. I have maybe an hour to get rolling, not even ish. I have about an hour to get rolling. So assuming that this works and everything's coming together, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my phone with me and I'll get a couple of shots of Emma's concert because Emma's awesome and I want to make sure I share her and her amazing talents with you. And then uh, a couple shots from the Bal de Pompier just so you can see the inside of the firefighter station and get a feel for what Bal de Pompier is all about. And then uh, depending on how all that goes, hopefully everything will be uploaded on time tomorrow. And uh, if not, whoops, sorry. Maybe we'll do a lost vlog episode someday. With that, I gotta, I'm gonna try and get this figured out. Also, quick thank you to whoever dropped this off at the Peloton. Hot sauce. Tasty hot sauce is like handmade. It says it's handmade batches. Note from the Hoff. Hoff sauce is the result of my search for the perfect everyday hot sauce. Looking forward to giving it a try. Hoff, or whoever it was that dropped this off, thank you so much. Please make sure to take credit in the comments so I can thank you again in the comments, I appreciate it, but I, they just handed me this when I went into the Peloton the other day. So I don't know if it was associated with somebody else who I already thanked with like a painting or something or what, but thank you for the, I, 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 I cannot wait to try it. Okay, I'm gonna go meet Laura and Gustav for lunch. She's babysitting Gustav at the moment, so I'm gonna go ahead and join them for lunch. And then concert and then Bal de Pompier and hopefully, I mean, I'll just, I'll give you little snippets as we go because I, I have no idea what all I'm gonna be able to pull into this. I have no idea where I am. Somewhere in the 20th for Emma's concert. Hopefully they have something to eat or drink because I need a snack. I was gonna buy a peach on the way here, but I didn't pass any fruit vendors, so here we are. Okay, so that was an art installation next door. And I know it, this is a cool workshop. I'm just wondering. That was great. I had a really nice time. It was like a massage for my brain. I really, really needed that. Okay, definitely coming back the next time they do one of those. It was in a sculptor's workshop. Like, how magical could that be? Um, I don't know how to get out of the gate. It's the only problem. But it's time for Bal des Pompiers. And I'll probably leave you here. I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning.
for whatever comes next. Assuming I can get out of here. Aha, found it. Let's get out of here. Val de Pompier, and I'll see you. Yeah, like I said, I'll just give you a couple shots from that, and then I will see you tomorrow morning for the magic that is life in general. I feel, ah, that was so good. That's exactly what I needed. Hits me right here. All right, let's go dance. We tried to switch it up and go to the Arenda Lutesh. And it's closed, completely closed, which is a surprise. So now we're debating where to go because we might be too late. And that's all I got. Okay, now we're gonna try to go to the Marais, even though that's not where we wanted to go. And we're gonna try and get you at least one shot inside of Pompier Ball. And if there's a good chance we're just gonna end up down on the river with a band or something. I have no idea what's gonna happen. So if that's the case, sorry. The beret was way too insane, so we're trying the one over by Pont Neuf, which also looks kind of crazy. Last chance, last try. Nope, a one and a half hour wait just to get in and we were already past midnight. That's what you get for sitting around waiting for people forever as we did, so. Lesson learned, next year will be better. Sorry that we missed it, but hopefully you can come to it yourself next year and I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning for, you know, yada yada yada, the 14th of July.